In Nigeria, our founding fathers recognized the crucial importance of addressing the country's diversity and so proceeded to negotiate and agree the 1960 and 1963 constitution, which was a truly federal constitution. As a result, the country was more united and was progressing at a relatively greater pace of socioeconomic development until the military intervened in governance in January 1966 and eventually imposed on the country the 1999 Constitution, which with the blatantly false claim that the Constitution was made by we, the people of Nigeria. The 1999 Constitution, even as amended, lacks the legitimacy that can only be conferred on a constitution democratically made by the people of Nigeria. We must, therefore, have a new legitimate constitution that will give us a different governance system that can tackle effectively the myriad challenges currently facing our country. In my view, the new constitution <coughs> should involve fewer and more economically viable federating units. It should be made by a constituent assembly of persons to be democratically elected on non-political party basis, I would say of three persons per each of the 36 existing states and one person from the federal capital territory. Their deliberations should take into consideration the 1960 and 1963 constitutions, as well as the recommendations of the 2014 National Conference. Thereafter, the draft constitution produced by this Constituent Assembly should be submitted to a national referendum for approval. And in this way, we would have a legitimate Nigerian citizen's constitution. In conclusion, in order for our pluralistic country, Nigeria, to survive, I call on the presidency and the national and state assemblies to hearken to the plea of the patriots and others advocating a restructuring of our governance system. The plea for a bold step to give the country a new democratically made Nigeria's people's constitution. I thank you all. Thank you very much, Elder Statesman, Chief Amy.